In this lesson, we are going to create a graphic for Instagram post. Now, we, when we talk about Instagram or other social media platforms, a lot of blogs or businesses basically use these kind of templates very often. That means that they will be using the same templates with almost the same elements in each post and the designs will also be more or less similar. Only the text and images changes according to different posts, right? So in this video, we will learn the concept of templating. That means whenever you come across the similar projects that you need to create for your business or if you're providing a service to a company, you might create some versions of the templates that you can reuse on the similar projects. So in the search area, as a starting point, we will write Instagram post. And here is two types of posts that we have. So let's add an Instagram post. So as you click in here, you will see a lot of templates that are again, predefined templates that you can use. Some of them are paid. Some of them are free versions. So as a starting point, you might want to start up with a predefined template. So let's click on this one template of gym fitness. So afterwards, even if you want to add a page and start it fresh, you can still do it. And if you want to use some other template, you ha still have uh, all the other template options that we have on the left hand side. Now the concept of templating is, uh, for example, you might be using uh, this template for a couple of designs. So you might want to convert this into a template. How can you do that? You will double click here. And for example, you see this picture and you can delete this picture and keep the text only. So whenever you need to upload or create a new post, for example, this one, you might set it on the background like this and you have a different post. Similarly, since this template is pretty simple one, I can choose any other template. For example, this one, I can use an other template which have a couple of pictures as well. Now, for example, this one right here. Now, as you can see that this template is made for financial freedom and a couple of pictures are inserted. So what we can do is we can create a template out of it. That means remove all the extra pictures and leave them empty. Even from the background, remove this picture. So this is kind of a template that is readily available for us whenever you want to recreate that. Now, for example, let's say uh, I want to create a travel post. I will write travel in photos and paste this one here. Maybe reduce the transparency and then places to visit. And for example, here, I want to add some attractions. You can add these pictures and this is how you can customize the post on the particular template. So not only these two, you can create a lot of templates and then remove that pictures that you will customize in future for your post as and when you need it. Similarly, for example, this one right here. If I add a new page and this one is the template that I want to use, you can keep the text and you can remove the pictures. So this is one other template that is ready now. So as you can see that you can create many, many versions of that templates. So mainly what it will do is it will save you a lot of time to find some good templates relating to a particular business. For example, now that our all templates are ready. I'll go to the home page and customize it. For example, travel company design templates. So these are all the templates that you can use for the travel company. So especially if you are a freelancer or you want to be a graphic designer or you want to start a graphic designing business. So you might get clients that are related to a particular industry. And most often it will be a restaurant, a travel agency, a gym or whatever. So all the common designs is what you can save for them 
and then reuse that templates and provide services to the other clients. It will not only save you a lot of time, you can easily grab a lot of business from this technique. And it is not only restricted to uh, this post templates, it can be used to create flyers, even resumes, you can create some different templates and keep it all in the same area. But remember, whenever you are reusing that template for a particular travel company, for example, a company is, uh, let's say name is Times Travel. So I'll click on these three dots and click on make a copy. And then you will rename that copy and make it change the name and then work on this template. Otherwise, if you use this main template, it will be obviously converted. All the posts will be converted for that particular company. So it's always better to copy the designs from a particular template, make a copy and then start working on the company posts. So in this way, let's say if you have a contract with a restaurant, with a travel agency or with a gym that uh, you will handle their social media page and you will upload one post regularly about their current events, about their current promotions. So if you create like 30 to 40 designs for that particular business, you can easily handle their social media page. Because if you visit any page on Facebook, on Instagram, a lot of times only the text and images are changing and the basic template will remain the same. That means you will need only 30 to 40 templates that you can reuse and recreate by using different images and different uh, textiles, but the basic format will be same. So that is really helpful in providing services to the clients and definitely helps in handling your own business as well. Now what you can also do is, uh, for example, you are providing or planning to provide a service to a particular client related to a particular industry. What you can do is visit some Facebook pages related to that business or visit some Instagram profiles related to that business and see what kind of designs do they have. Take inspiration from them, get those templates ready on a single uh, project and then you can easily quickly reuse that templates for any business of the similar nature. So this is a quick hack to save your time and let's move to the next one.